Riddle me this, audience. What is inside of each of these packages? It's Maniac for Bricks, and we're here with another pack opening video from the Lego Batman movie collectible minifigure series. Insert clever opening. All right, so I do not know what's in each of these. Cuss is in the comments below. Don't peek at the end of the video. And let's see what we got. There are one or two duplicates on purpose thus far. So I will definitely, ha if you see one, there is a likelihood it will appear again in another video. And I will build all of these after pouring out the pieces. Hopefully I don't go all over the place. Let's start on this side this time. Number one, woo! Harley Quinn, yeah! All right, fantastic. I thought she had the roller skates with her. I'm confusing it with the ones in the sets. Number two, yes! The eraser! Oh, that's so cool. I love the design of the eraser. I don't even, I have read a bit about him. I will do some catch up on DC Comics lore and so on. And all the villains and the Skirb ones. And last but not least, ah, Joker and Harley Quinn in the same pack opening video. But will it be the only ones? Do 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 do. All right, so I'll go build them and let's review them up close. Oh, he just looks so sad here. I mean, comically sad, but still. This is the inmate version of the Joker in Arkham Asylum. I believe they actually do have him in the Arkham Asylum set with the Lego Batman movie lineup. Um. So, kind of interesting, but, hey, if you can get them in this way, it actually opens the door for a lot of possibilities. So, first, taking a look at the figure itself, really looks good. I really do like the torso design for the, you know, the inmate outfit, and, you know, his face and his hair looks great. It is the same hair we use for every version of the Joker that we see in this lineup, and... This is just a really nice face for him that only is available with this figure. It also has a little bit of torso printing going down to the legs. Just give me one sec to move the handcuffs. Oh, now he's happy. He's like, yay, you can set me free. Well, only for a little bit. I'm still going to keep that handcuff on there. Barbara Gordon's just waiting in the corner. So there's a better look at the printing all the way around. And honestly, I would like to pick this up in multiples so that I can get multiple versions of inmates, you know, any, any multiple versions of villains, I should say, to put into these inmate, you know, uniforms for Arkham Asylum. Now, I'm not really sure if I would get the Arkham Asylum set, but this would just be a good strategy. And you may say, well, what about the white that's on his torso and the white that's for his hands? Well, yes, the white for his hands seems like something that would be a thing to change. It's not really that hard to change. But the white on the torso is a little bit of a question mark. Now, I know that with the other versions in the Arkham Asylum set, from what I've seen in pictures, they'd use the same exact torso as the Joker we see here. So in this case, it's not supposed to be just a shirt and nothing underneath, and the white is actually his skin. Instead, this is supposed to represent an undershirt, and that seems very appropriate for the context, and just makes it all the more better for fitting multiple villains into this role. Well, it looks like the Joker is not going to be alone at the Arkham Asylum, because Harley Quinn is dressed up in a nurse-like outfit to maybe help him break out, and you can even see on there little notepad there, or clipboard if you may. This is a really great version of Harley Quinn, whether you're talking about any versions from the Lego Batman movie line, or just from all DC comic sets in general. I do like the new hair piece, I am getting accustomed to that style, it looks really cool, and kind of has this childish charm to it for Harley Quinn in a sense. Um, you know, because it's, it's fluctuated from being blonde to red and blue, now red and black, and with this really nice swirl and really nice mold to it. Um, that's a piece that you're really going to have to look for to figure out if this is Harley Quinn compared to any other characters. This little piece on top is actually pretty interesting because this is on a pin that's on the side. And that's supposed to mold right into the top of Harley's hair, which is actually a centered hole. So you can use that for other accessories of a small pin size like that. Really nice torso printing, really nice leg printing. 
I like the shoes that are on there. I like the torso. I really like the arm printing. This is just a great figure all the way around. I honestly think it's one of my favorites from this entire line. I really do like what they attempted to do for the arms. For the pink, that's supposed to be like the latex gloves, kind of stretching up a little bit more over the minifigure's hands and through the arms. Just because of the way that these are printed, it doesn't quite work all the way around the arms, and you could really say that for a lot of other figures, not only from this line, but in LEGO in general. I do like how they wrapped around the red on the legs, so that you get more of the feeling for the boots all the way around. So I do appreciate that, and this is just really well done. Here's a better look at her face, which honestly you could use for any version of Harley Quinn and still fits in pretty nicely. And last but not least, we have the Eraser. While I know next to nothing about this character in comic book context, I have read a bit about it, I have looked up images, it's really accurate to how it looks in the comics. I love the headpiece that's used for that, which is just a large cylinder and has this one by one tile on the top of it so you can attach anything else on there with a pin or stud rather kind of space. Maybe pin too, because it has that middle area. But really just nice looking for what it is. I would say this is great to use, and I've talked about this when the figure images first came out. I would like to use this as a way of starting to make a figure from Looney Tunes. I believe it was called The Great Piggy Bank Robbery. The episode, it was basically the episode where Daffy Duck is portrayed as a Dick Tracy kind of detective character. And there was one of the villains in that episode that had a pencil head. And um, I don't quite remember the villain's name. I'll give you that. But I bet somebody's going to know in the comments below and really be like, oh yeah, that would fit perfectly. Um, so that will be fun to add that head itself onto that character. I would even say... Maybe use the head for one or two other things and other media, but I digress. So, the rest of the figure, really nice for the pencil outlines, you know, for the, all the lines would be on a pencil. Great to do on the legs, great to do in the arms, fits all the way around. I like the little black that's underneath for his shirt, underneath the jacket. And on his notepad, it says, to erase. Because he has the power to erase evidence from crime scenes. I could see him as being one of... Me well, I could see a lot of these villains, honestly. Being background characters for the Lego Batman movie. Maybe it just seemed like a big crowd. And it's just all this, you know, fight stuff going on. But I don't think he's going to have, like, a dominant role in the movie itself. Now, since we have a villain here, I wanted to bring up the point I thought about before with having other villains in this costume idea. Bam! Perfect! Flawless! Well done. Now, yes, as we transition from one figure to the other, you can tell, obviously, he did not have a white shirt underneath, but I guess that would be part of the Arkham Asylum uniform. I did use the black hands from another minifigure. I did not get them from the Joker, because you remember he had them in white. So this fits pretty well, and, you know... I bet uh, somebody's going to do it, or already has done it by this point, in taking all the vil all the villains from the sets and put them into this style, whether or not all at once, or just different pictures, whatever that may work. But honestly, I think it would be a great idea, and I'm sure over time... This will be something people will like to do. Let me know in the comments below which of your which of these figures is your favorite. And I know I just kind of mutilated one to make a custom for the other. But, well, I'll fit them right here. <laughs> there we go. All right. So let me know in the comments below what you think about these figures and that idea with the inmate uniform. And we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos. You can check out plenty of other videos on my channel and more of the pack openings if you subscribe so that you can catch up the other videos coming out soon. Hit the bell in the bottom next to the subscription button so you can be notified right away when they go up because YouTube is a little flaky, but we'll make it work. So, we'll see you later.